Oh, it's really hot. So what we have here is a brand new 2020 Ferrari F8 Tributo. We have done one already a couple of weeks back. Oh, you're gonna be mad at me for saying a couple weeks back. Okay, okay. All right. We've done one already a couple weeks back on some Anarchy AN11s in polished smoke. It was lowered as well, the first one in the world to have that sort of combination. And now we've got another one here. There, you can't go wrong with a red Ferrari. I mean, I think that this is the proper color for it. So I'm very, very excited to see what the end result will be on this. We're gonna do some Anarchy performance wheels on it. I don't know the finish, I don't know the size, and I don't know the style, but I trust Ben working with his client on, on picking out something very, very cool for this one. We're also gonna be doing uh, a couple of, uh, we're also gonna be doing a refresh on some of the black plastics here. So as you can see, it looks like a, you know, a really basic, just flat, flat black, and we're gonna be taking this off and be doing a gloss black, similar to what you have here by the headlight. All of the matte black trim is gonna be gloss black. So the side skirts here, some interior pieces as well is gonna be gloss black. That's gonna be really cool. Suspension wise, we're gonna go back to Novatech with their uh, sports suspension. It's gonna drop the car. It'll uh, reduce some of the body roll, make uh, turn in and turn out a little bit tighter. And then we'll also finish it off with the Novatech full exhaust. I'm not, I'm not certain if it's gonna have the flap regulation, which is basically the valves in there. Some customers like to have it loud all the time, and other customers like to have the ability to quiet it down if they're in traffic or if they're uh, getting into the neighborhood a little bit late. So all I know is that this is gonna have that Novatech system. It's gonna scream like you would not believe. So once everything is said and done, suspension, the trim, the exhaust, and the wheels, it's gonna be a complete full build and it'll look really, really special. We'll get some photos and more videos of that for you. show you and the reason why is because of the spec of this 488 Spider. So as you can see it's this baby blue golf blue Mexico blue color and down the middle of the car you've got the French stripes which is super super cool. Um, I've got to speak to my customer about that why he went with that spec. Um, I'm sure there's a really cool story behind it. I'll make sure to uh, try and get an interview with him when he comes to pick up the car but the car is here for a slew of things so you know the treatment. Wheels, suspension and exhaust. For suspension, the Novatech springs, fully adjustable, everybody knows those. For the exhaust, we're also doing Novatech. We're doing the power optimized flap regulation exhaust. I'll pick those up in a little bit so I can just show you what it looks like. It's also getting the uh, sport cat pipes and it's also getting some anarchy wheels. I won't share with you just yet the wheels that we're doing because I wanna get some, uh, some B-roll of it when it's coming out and once it's on the car, that way I can really talk about it. But I'm very, very excited about this. So let's walk our way over to first the high flow cats. So here we got the Novatech power optimized muffler with the flap regulation system. The flap regulation system is Novatech's way of saying valve control. So you've got the valve actuators right here. The valves will be located right here. So basically when you're in sport mode and you're in the higher RPMs, those valves will open. The airflow will be much better, which gives your car a lot more power, but more importantly, a lot better sound. So you've got the Novatech badging right here with the serial number on top. You have to make sure that these exhausts come with it because there's a lot of replicas and fakes out there. Um, but this will guarantee that you have the real deal. You've got the lightweight stainless steel here. Much more lightweight than the factory system, which is gonna be pulled out in a couple of minutes here. Um, I would love to get a scale out here so we can see what the difference is. This one is stainless steel, but Novatech also offers the Inconel, which is even more lightweight. It's very comparable to titanium in its weight. So some cars we've already done that. This one's just gonna go with the standard stainless steel version because he's not really going for a speed demon or anything like that. He just wants a much better sound, which is what this Novatech is gonna get it. 
He is also doing the Novatec Tektronic, which will guarantee that there's no check engine light when you start messing with the muffler system on these cars. These cars are very sensitive, especially when you replace them with higher flow cats, which we're doing on this car. But the Novatec Tektronic, once you plug that in, check engine light gone, nothing is gonna um, be awry or anything like that. It's gonna run smoothly and sound perfect. So I'm looking forward to hearing some after sounds on this and also seeing the wheels very shortly here as well. So guys, I wanted to get this out in the sun because the baby blue is just perfect. You've got the French stripes, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and squatting down just a little bit, Anarchy AN12s. We had them in satin black. We did the Ferrari center cap bezel so that you can use that center cap. Otherwise, you would have a couple of different Anarchy options like a carbon cap, an X cap, and a shield cap. And then we did front and rear 21. Nope. 21 in the rear only, 20 in the front. So you have a 245, 35, 20, and a 355, 25, 21. I really love this car. Sounds good? Sounds good from in here. So what we did is we taped up a microphone on the back of the car so that you guys can hear some of this. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the sound. It's been a while since we've done the 488 on the Novatech system, but I appreciate you guys watching. Love all your feedback. All right, boys and girls, so I am very happy to present to you the Ferrari F8 Tributo that we've been working on for quite some time. It's been in and out of the shop a few times for various things. Right off the bat, you know this is the biggest biggest difference is the ride height, the stance, and the wheels. So we've got the Anarchy S3 X1s. I'll go into a little bit more detail about these wheels. We've also got the Novatec suspension. We've got the first ever North American tuned FA Tributo. And we also did some interior trim pieces um, that you will take a look at inside as well. And last but not least, we also had the Novatec, once again, power optimized exhaust flap regulation muffler system. So long, long name, but the sounds, the performance of this thing is out of control. Uh, let's get a little bit more detail oriented with the various parts of the car. So we'll start off with the biggest modification in our opinion that changes the look of the car dramatically. And that's of course the Anarchy Performance wheels. So the model designation is S3 X1. So it's from their brand new X series from 2020. It's a three piece wheel, as you can obviously see with the assembly bolts. Now these assembly bolts, if you think it's too busy for your liking, they can be completely hidden at no cost extra. They can also be finished in any color that you want. So that's some of the freedom and customization that you have with these Anarchy Performance wheels since every single set from Anarchy is custom built to order specifically for the options and choices that you choose for the wheel and specifically meant to fit every model vehicle. So obviously this is one is for the F8 Tributo. Up front, we have a 21 inch by nine and a half. And in the rear, we have a 22 inch by 12 and a half. The tires, you have two choices from this size. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which this car has, and Pirelli P0. You have a 255, 30, 21 for the front and a 335, 25, 22 for the rear. Going back to the wheel with the finish, you've got polished gold. So this entire center face comes out of machining and they polish it within a machine and then they do the gloss gold powder coat on top. So every wheel has a three year finish warranty from Anarchy and a lifetime structural warranty from Anarchy. So if you ever see some uh, defects in the finish after a couple of years of ownership, you just give us a call back and we'll be able to have Anarchy take care of that. 
For the center cap, you always have the choice of the Ferrari bezel, or in this case, the Anarchy Shield, which I love a lot because it's finished in the same color as the center face. On the outer lip, this looks like a J lip, which is also another option. And then it's finished in polished clear. So I really like this color combination against the Ferrari red. I think it looks absolutely spectacular. There's not a single thing that I would have done different on this. And especially when you take a look at the rear, the rear is so concave, which is insanely ridiculous. That's what people want these days. They want a concave wheel and Anarchy does a very good job of engineering that. And on multiple fronts, because the engineering has to take into account the angle of the center face for the deep concave profile forging and also clearing the brakes. If I had a business card right here, it would be such a tight fit, but it does work. It does not hit at all whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Moving to the back wheel. This is the concavity that I was mentioning to you. It looks really, really nice, especially with the floating spoke design of the Anarchies. But what I wanted to touch on on this back area are the Novatech springs. So they're sport springs. If you try to adjust the height of this car using the factory adjustments, yes, you can lower it, but A, it's not gonna be as low as what people usually want like this car, and B, when you reach the lowest settings, the car is gonna be very, very bouncy. So what Novatech does is they do a lot of testing with their springs before they come to market with it, and it allows the car to be lowered to this stance and also ride very, very smooth, just like it came from Ferrari factory. So since they're fully adjustable, every owner can select what sort of height he wants. Down here in Miami, we have amazing roads, so this customer can get away with having the car this low and having the front end lift. It works in conjunction with the front end lift. We have seen some people on the Ferrari chat forums who have commented that the car is too low, that their roads are terrible, that there's no way that they'd be able to drive this thing, there's no way that the owner would be able to drive this thing. That's all wrong. Again, down here in Miami, this person owns the car in Miami. The roads are perfect. He can drive it like this. Or for those that are in states like New York, which we've heard are notorious for having terrible roads, the car can be adjusted with these springs to be a little bit higher. So this is a perfect gap to me. We call it the Miami height. Of course, uh, probably California height as well since they have good roads out there. But this to me is beautiful. You also have to get the wheel fitment right as well because what happens is if you lower a car this much and you're using the factory wheels, they're gonna be sunken in. And then you have to throw spacers on. And at that point, you're throwing on spacers on a car that costs this much, you don't wanna do that. So the wheel fitment has to be right as well. But in addition to the suspension, we also played with the engine just a little bit. So what we did was we had a person from uh, Dino Spectrum come fly in from California to f tune this car because it had never, never been tuned before so he couldn't use some previous files that he's had. To our knowledge, this is the first Ferrari FA Tributo in North America to be tuned. Now with a car that has forced induction like this one with a twin turbo V8 putting 720 horsepower from factory, we're looking at an increase of about 800 or so horsepower and that's also needed with a tune because we did the Novatech exhaust. Now the Novatech exhaust, sometimes if you order it with Sport Cats, will throw a check engine light because the exhaust is very, very free flowing and the computer thinks that something's wrong even though there's nothing wrong. So in this case, the tune does serves two purposes. One is the power bump that the customer wanted and the other is to get rid of the check engine light that could have potentially been caused by the Novatech exhaust. So what I'll do is I'll jump inside, show you some of the things that we did with the interior plastics as well and give the car a start. That way you guys can hear the Novatech exhaust that has the power flap, power optimized flap regulation with the stainless steel unit. As you can see here, the customer opted for the carbon fiber steering wheel with the LED lights, which I love. And there was a lot of trim in here that was a, like a gray, almost like the gray at the edge of these, of these knobs here. It did not go at all with the car. You had red, you had gold, you have the red stitching, black interior carbon, and then these out of place looking silver and gray pieces. So what we did was everything that you see that is piano black, which is around the air vents, the center console here as well is what we had done. We had ripped out all of the interior pieces that were that gray. We refinished them to piano black and it looks so much better in my opinion. Of course, you could do any black. You could do a matte black. You could even do colored if you want to match the outside paintwork of the car. But I really like this setup here. I think it's, it's very fresh. You still have the little clues of the silver, as I mentioned, at the end of the buttons here and on the window buttons. And then the Ferrari, of course, logo fresh in the center. So I really do like that little extra added touch 
that brings along the car um, and it upgrades the feel of it on the inside. But without further ado, let me press this button here that says engine start stop and make some music. So there you have it. We've got the Novatech exhaust. You guys have heard it. There's two different versions of it regarding the material. This one has the stainless steel version. We'll have another video coming up soon of the Inconel, which is a uh, lightweight, higher quality aluminum. That's actually a hybrid between chromium and nickel, but I won't get into too much details about that. This one here sounds absolutely spectacular. You've got the option to have this Novatech exhaust with or without valves. This one has the valve, so if you change it to race or sport, it'll open and close depending on the RPMs. I think it sounds unbelievable. We've done IPE exhaust on the FA Tributo already. We've done the Novatech exhaust on the FA Tributo already. And typically, I always like the IPE better because it has a higher pitch, but on this car, it just takes the V8 twin turbo and it gives it so much grunt it's hard to convey the sound through a video, but that's why I hope you guys make it down to Miami whenever you can. We have these cars here so often that the chances are that you'll be able to hear it in person. So that's enough talking for me. That's enough of my impressions about the exhaust. I'll uh, flip it over to Ben since that's his customer. He's gonna drive it, put it through the paces and uh, see what you guys think while it's rolling. Catch you next time. So we do a couple thousand cars a year, but sprinkled in there, there's some ones that are uh, feeling herders, showstoppers, ones that people remember Wheels Boutique for. I guarantee you there's gonna be one of those ones. <laughs> 